In this video, we'll be hunting a box of nickels. We'll be looking for anything bef from before 1960, including silver war nickels, buffalo nickels, or anything older. We'll also be looking for any foreigns, proofs, errors or varieties, or any other cool things we can find. Do just have one box right now, but if it doesn't produce enough finds, I will add a second box onto the video as always. And I did look for enders, and I didn't see any obvious enders, so we'll have to get into the rolls for some finds. So, let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Roll six, and we have our first couple of finds from the 50s. We have 1952 out of Denver, and 1958 that's also from Denver. Roll nine, and we have our first find from the 40s, and it is in 1948. It is in 1948 San Francisco, and that is one of the semi-key date nickels, so that's definitely an awesome find. Not in the best shape, definitely circulated, but hopefully there's more finds like that in the box. Roll number 12, we have a couple more finds. First, we do have our new oldest nickel of the hunt. It is a 1942 out of Philly, non-silver, but we'll definitely take a transition year nickel. And we also got another 1958 from Denver. Roll number 16, and I just uncovered the best find of the hunt so far. I already pulled out a 1948 Denver from the roll. Near the end, I saw this Reavers with a Denver mint mark that looked older, and I flipped it over. That's a 1939 Denver key date nickel. It's not in great shape at all. Usually key dates are a little nicer. It does have that damage on the reverse as well. But regardless, it's a key date nickel. Don't find key date nickels very often at all. That is an awesome find. Roll 19. We have another find from the 40s. This time we have 1949 minted in Denver. Roll 21. We have a pair of nickels from the 50s. Both of them are 1956. One's a Philly and one is a Denver. Roll 28. We have a couple more finds from the 50s. This time we have 1954 out of Philly and another 1958 from Denver. Roll 41. It's been a little bit since I've brought you in. I already pulled out a 1953 out of Denver, but I bring you in because one away from the back, I did just uncover another 1939. The first 39 we got was the 39D key date. This one's in decent shape. Hopefully, we can get lucky enough to get another key date. Oh my gosh, and we do. Another 1939 Denver. Two 1939 Denver key dates in the same box. That's absolutely ridiculous. 39D is the second rarest Jefferson behind the 50D. Definitely very hard to find, and we got two in one box. That's absolutely crazy. It's a pretty good box so far. Let's go. Roll 44. We have another find from the 40s. This time we have 1949 out of Philly. Last roll of the box, and we do have a couple more 50s to show. But pretty damaged, 1957 out of Denver, as well as a 1959 Denver. That was a reverse facing ender. You can see the ring of death on the back. So I'm just going to get both of those on the board over here. And overall, the first box is pretty decent. No buffaloes or silver, but we did get a decent amount of older Jeffersons, including the two 1939 Denver key date nickels. Getting two key dates in a box is very hard to do. And this box did give us two 39 Denvers, so... It was a pretty good first box, especially because of those key dates, as well as the 48S semi-key date we got as well. So a few better date Jeffersons, but no buffaloes or silver. So we are going to add a second nickel box onto the video, and I'll be back when I get that second box. I am back with the second nickel box to add onto this hunt. First box was pretty good. No buffaloes or silver but with those two key dates. We'll definitely take that. Half check for enders in this box. Do a one under right there, just a 1952, so hopefully it's a good sign for the box. And I'll start hunting the box, and I'll bring you in on the first find. First roll, and the second box is getting off to a good start. We have the first two nickels from 1940 of the hunt. One is a Philly, and the other one is out of Denver. Just opened roll number five in the second box, and we're finally going to have the first four of the hunt. Surprised we didn't get any in the first box, but we are going to get at least one in this box. Canadian nickel right here, and it is a 1986. I just took roll number 9 out of the box, and I was about to open the roll, and I realized it looks like there's some sort of oddly shaped coin in there. I think it's going to be a foreign coin there on the left side. I'm going to open it live and see what we have. 
see if I was right. It was just something that's damaged. And I don't see anything off the bat. Could be this one here. And yeah, this is a foreign coin. 1984, 20 pence from Great Britain. Not sure if I've ever found one of these in a nickel roll before, but it's definitely a super cool find. Super cool to see that. Same roll. We have our first couple 50s nickels off this box, which are 1954 Denver and 1957 from Philly. Just opened roll number 12. Second coin in, one away from being an ender. It's another Canadian nickel. Second Canadian, third foreign. This one's 1994. Same roll. Once again, we have a couple more 50s finds. This time we have another 1954 Denver as well as a 1958. It's also from Denver. Roll 15. We have a few more older Jeffersons to show. We have one more from the 40s, 1941 from Philly, and two from 1952. One is a Philly and one is 1952 San Francisco. Just opened roll 17, and this box is definitely doing a lot better on the foreigns than the first one. First box had no foreigns, and now we're going to have the fourth foreign of this box. It's going to be a third one from Canada, and it's going to be a 1982. Roll 19, a couple more older nickels. This time we have 1946 from Denver and 1953 out of Philly. Roll 20 was our ender for the box. There's nothing else in the roll other than the ender, which ended up being a 1952 from Philly. Next roll, we have a couple more 50s finds. This time, we have a 1956 from Philly, as well as a 1959 that's also from Philly. Roll 23, and the foreigns just keep coming in the second box. Just open the roll. We're going to have another Canadian nickel right there. Fourth Canadian nickel, fifth foreign just of this box. This time we're going to have 1998. Roll 24. We have another nickel from the 30s. It's a 1939 first 30s nickel of this box. I did see the reverse first. It's just a 1939 Philly. Not another key date, but it's still a third nickel from the 30s from the hunt. Halfway point, box number two. We have another find from the 40s. This time, 1941 from Philly. Roll 29 gave us four fines, so it's definitely a pretty good roll. We got three from the 40s and one from the 50s. 1941 from Denver, two 1947s, one from Philly, other ones from Denver, and 1958 from Denver as well. Just opened roll number 30. Before I show you what I just found, we have another one of those weird little edges sticking out of the roll right there in roll 40, so I think we might have another 20 pence in that roll. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm not. We'll see when we get to that. I just opened roll number 30. This is definitely the box of the foreigns because we have another foreign coin right there. I'm thinking maybe another 5 euro cent. I've been seeing a few of those lately. And it is another 5 euro cent. This one's from France, 2008. Got the 5 euro cent on the back. Been seeing a few of these lately. So it's definitely a box of the foreigns, which is pretty cool. Roll 31. And I already pulled out another one from the 50s. It's another 58 from Denver. I bring you in because I did just uncover another 1939. Fourth 1939 of the hunt. We do have 239 Denvers already. Just in case it's a key date I brought you in. Let's see if we have another one. And we don't. It's just the 1939 from Philly. It does not look like the DDR, but still. Fourth 1939 of the hunt, which is awesome. Roll 33. We have a couple more finds once again. This time we have a nickel from 1948. From Denver and an ender I didn't realize we had. It's a 1953 from Denver as well. Roll 35, and I said this already, but this box has a lot of foreigns in it. Just open this roll. We have another Canadian in this roll. Four number seven for the box. It's another one from 1998. Roll 36, we have another nickel from the 40s and one from the 50s. The 40s is a 1948 from Philly. 50s is a 1956 out of Denver. We're up to roll 40, which is that roll with another coin kind of sticking out of the roll on the sides there. Looks pretty similar to that 20 pence, so I'm thinking we could have another one in this roll. Let's see. I did say I didn't think I found one before. I don't know. We might have two in one box. Again, this box has a ton of forms in it. We'll open and see. And it looks like we might right here have another 20 pence, which we do. 
two UK 20 pences in the same box. Very interesting for sure. This was a 1982. That's a cool find. Roll 42. We actually have four more finds to add from this roll. One from the 40s, three from the 50s. 40s is a 1949 from Denver. 50s are 1952 Philly. 1957 out of Denver and 1958 that's also out of Denver. Roll 43 had a couple of more 50s nickels which are 1956 vinted in Denver and very damaged 1958 that's also from Denver. Next roll and this time we have one from the 40s and one from the 50s. 40s is 1940 out of Philly. 50s is a 1954 vinted in Denver. Roll 47, and I was worried we, were gonna, we weren't going to get any buffaloes or silvers for the hunt, but I just opened this roll and flattened it out, and in the back, I see the edge of a buffalo nickel. Super happy to see that. Would have been a decent hunt anyway, but buffalo or silver always makes it better. No mint mark on the reverse of this one. Not sure if we're going to have a date. It looks pretty worn, and I'm not sure if I see a date on this one. Might have to use Nicodate it. Oh. I'll be back if I have a date on it or after I use Nicodate. I'm back. I did end up using Nicodate on it. The date was almost coming through, but I couldn't quite make it out. So I just used Nicodate on it. It came out pretty fast. It is a 1919 Buffalo Nickel. As, as we already know, it's just a Philadelphia. So being from Philly, not going to be a better date. But still, a Buffalo Nickel from the teens found near the end of the hunt is very, very exciting. Same roll as the buffalo, also had a couple of 50s nickels, which were 1957 and 1958, both from Denver. Last roll gave us one last find, just from the 50s, which was 1954 out of Denver, so now let's get on to the wrap up. Both nickel boxes have been hunted, so let's go over the finds. First of all, we got eight foreigns for the hunt, all out of the second box, which was very odd, but definitely a lot of foreigns in that second box. Five, just normal Canadian nickels, and then three different foreigns. We got two British 20 pence coins, and I don't think I've ever found one of those before, so getting two in the same box is cool, as well as another five euro cent. Gotten a few of those lately. Definitely cool to see a few different foreigns. Now for older Jeffersons, we got a lot of older Jeffersons for both boxes, which was definitely great. A lot from the 50s and the 40s. Did get a semi-key date in the 40s in 1948 San Francisco, which was a good find. A couple from the 30s as well, 239 Phillies and two key dates, two 1939 Denvers, both out of the same box. That was really cool to see. Definitely cool to get a couple of key dates, even though they're the same one. Definitely cool to see that. Lastly, best find for the hunt, we did get a Buffalo nickel. We did have to nickelate it, but it did end up being a 1919 out of Philly. Not a rare date, but... Definitely cool to see a buffalo nickel over 100 years old in the hunt. And pair along with all the other finds, definitely a lot of finds on the board. So it's definitely a super fun two-box nickel hunt.